What's going on guys, Shane here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of different exercises that you can do with a heavy bag, even if you don't have a place to hang it. One of the best bags you can use, boom, is the Max MMA all-purpose training and fitness bag. This thing triples as a traditional heavy bag. You can hang it up. You can hang it up horizontally, making it an uppercut bag, or you can just get an awesome workout. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different exercises you can do with this thing. Let's do it. All right, so this bag is filled with air and water, and it's adjustable. Right now, I have it at about 120 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. Here, I'm doing power clean shrugs, so I'm extending my ankles, my knees, my hips all at the same time, and then shrugging my shoulders at the top. Great full body workout here. Then I went to bent over rows. All right, great back exercise here, pulling your elbows back, using those back muscles, keeping a slight bend in the knees and your back completely straight. Again, 120 pounds is pretty heavy, so you can lighten it to, to whatever's comfortable for you. Then for me, I went with over-the-shoulder throws. I don't want to throw the bag because of the neighbors downstairs, but again, very hard work out here and very realistic to a person. You know, it's not going to be firm when you're picking someone up. They're going to be squirming all over the place, so this is great practice for that. Then I threw it over my shoulder and I did some squats, all right? Keeping the core tight, back straight, sitting that butt all the way down past that 90-degree bend, one of the best leg exercises that you can do. And then I went to lunges, another great leg exercise, working those hips. Again, keeping the core tight, keeping the chest up and the back straight. And I'm just alternating, stepping out with one leg, all right, not letting that knee go past the toe. Then I'm going out with the other leg, all right. Bring that knee all the way down to the ground too. Don't smash it on the ground. I like to just gently, gently tap it and then I'm extending back up. Then I went with some cardio work and I did side to side jumps. Just landing on the balls of my feet, jumping side to side. Not a lot of people think that, you know, a heavy bag, they don't think of cardio work like this, but you gotta be creative. And I just went with high knee taps, tapping the balls of my feet onto the bag, moving as quickly as I can, running it out high knees. And then I went to front and back jumps. Okay, just jumping over the bag, jumping back, staying nice and agile. And these exercises, these cardio exercises are great to combine with, you know, the, the heavy lifting ones too. Then I was ground and pounding that bag, throwing everything I had on it. Don't mind my hair, sorry, I'm growing it out. Throwing. <laughs> But, uh, but no, this was, this was awesome, and like I said, I don't have a place to hang my heavy bag. So it's great to have something like this that's durable, that I can just lay it on the ground, wow on it, you know, work my positioning, hammer fist, elbows, just all ground and pound. Knee strikes from the side, a lot of fun. Um, great, great workout. I mean, I'm, I was sweating, I was working, my muscles were burning, got the cardio up. Very fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Definitely recommend this bag, and you can get one of your own by clicking the link in the description below. Remember to comment, guys. Let me know if you want to see more equipment reviews, what in particular you'd like to see me cover, and subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. Until next time, I'm Shane, Fight Tips.